So the question then is, what does the term esoteric mean? Esoteric basically means inner. Exoteric is outer. It's ordinary. Esoteric is inner. It's more at the inner meaning of things. We all know that life has an outer meaning. The outer meaning is you're born, you grow, you learn, you mature, you get married, you get a job, you have children, you raise them, they grow, they mature, they learn, they get married, they get a job. Hopefully they get a job before they get married. That way you don't have to support their family while they're being married, having children, and looking for a job. We like to have it in the proper order, exoterically, out there. We all realize that, that that's really the pattern of life. The pattern of life is, is that. You're born, and then you mature, and then you get old, and then you get sick, and then you die, and then it keeps on going on and on and on. What happens after that, you die, then people start to get other ideas. They start to have esoteric ideas. They want to know, well, what happens then? What happens at that point after you die? Where do you go from there? But still, they look at it still exoterically. They still look at it as an outside thing. It's like, okay, well, you go from this room to this room. So in life, you go from this room, your baby room in your crib, to the, the room that you share with uh, other kids. And then you go from that to your own room. And then you go from that to having your own house and having your own family. And then you go from that to having your own coffin. And then you go from that, hopefully, then people want to know, well, where do you go from that? Where do you go from having your own coffin? So people have developed all kinds of ideas about where you go. You go to some nice place where everything is wonderful all the time, and depending on your background, you get virgins that you get to have sex with all the time, or you get to drink wine all the time and feel happy all the time. That you All the things you never got to do here, you get to do there forever. And that's their idea of a reward for not doing anything here, for just towing the line here and not doing, not doing anything here. So then you get there, and then you're rewarded... Everything is given to you that you denied yourself here, which seems a bit insane to me, but that's just me. For other people, that may seem like, well, wow, that's the greatest. That's what I want. Well, those people probably are not listening to this <laughs> because this is not about that. This is esoteric, not exoteric. And what esoteric means, again, is inner, but it's for a group of people who have already learned that what is out there is not the fulfillment of their true nature, the fulfillment of their true self. And what is out there is not ever going to, to fill that empty spot deep inside of them. They have learned that there is an empty spot deep inside of them. And they have tried to fill it with sex, and they have tried to fill it with money, and they have tried to fill it with food, and they've tried to fill it with entertainment, and they've tried to fill it with a lot of things. But they find that it doesn't really get filled. So there must be some other something, some other part that fits into that place that makes us more whole. And so esoteric is an approach to that. It's an inner approach to that, that sense that we have that there's something more. And the question further states, or asks, why study something from an esoteric point of view as opposed to studying something from a traditional point of view? The reason is because the traditional point of view is be a good householder. Be a good Christian, be a good Jew, be a good Jain, be a good um, Hindu, be a good Buddhist, be a good whatever. And what that means is, is follow the outside rules. But we all know that people can follow the outside rules without ever having anything inside that harmonizes with them. You can look like a wonderful, kind, loving person on the outside. You can look like a fine, upstanding citizen on the outside, but inside be a real creep. Just an example, one example would be John Wayne Gacy. Does anybody remember the story of John Wayne Gacy? He was a construction guy and a clown. He, he loved to dress up like a, cr a clown, and then he'd go to parties and all the, and he'd donate all this time, and, and he was big in the community. He'd donate all this time to the community and to children and to so on and so on and so forth. Then later they found out that John Wayne Gacy was this sick, twisted, sadistic, homosexual type weirdo who was picking up young boys, bringing them home, tricking them 
with his clown outfit and his little clown tricks, tricking them into putting handcuffs on them. Once he got the handcuffs on them, he would take them to a room and torture them to death and have some kind of perverted sexual thing going on with them, torture them to death, and then bury them under his house. And they found dozens of bodies. When they finally did catch on to this guy, who was a fine, upstanding citizen, exoterically, but esoterically, inside, he was this monster, this really sick individual who was doing all this stuff. That's what I mean. So why study esoterically? Because it's the only thing that really matters. Because if you line up harmoniously inside, everything you do outside will just fall into place. It's about finding who you are inside and then outside having the reflection of who you are inside just come out. As it is now, we don't do that. As it is now, we have this mask that we wear, just like Do John Wayne Gacy would put on this clown face. He would put on all the makeup and look like a clown and the, and the hair and the, and the shoes and the whole outfit. And he would look like something that he was not. He was pretending to be something that he was not. He was covering up all of the corruption, his internal corruption, with all of this outside happiness that was a lie. So why study things esoterically rather than in a traditional way is to try and get at the real inner you, to try and discover what that really is. And the fact is you don't know what it is. But this system can help you to discover who you really are. Now, I don't know who you really are. And the system doesn't really say who you really are. It's something you have to discover. Traditionally, they will tell you, oh, your real self is this and your real self is that. And you'll be like this and you'll be like that. And so you have this, this thing that you're aiming at and it may be taking you far away from who you really are. You see the difference? One is you find your inner bearings and you navigate from there. The other one is you have some outer bearings and you navigate toward them all outside and you never really know what's going on in here. Does that answer your question? Excellent.